What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it is paint reveal video day. I didn't want to like, you know, give you guys a big wait between the paint video and the reveal video. I wanted it to be straight after. So we're all done. It's all back together. The delay was just these weather strips up here and on the top of the door, we needed them to be black to match the color. No, the color's not black. Um, Look, I'm just gonna roll straight into it so you guys can see it, uh, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. But look, let's jump into some cinematics uh, quickly. You, if you like it, like, subscribe, Patreon, all that sort of stuff. You guys know the go. Uh, I'm not gonna hold you up. Let's jump straight into the video. I can show you the new color. Okay, I'm just trying to just like stay on top of this like water all over the car because it's raining. Well, it's I'm having like to jump in between showers of rain. <laughs> all right, so as you can see, we kind of went with Nardo Gray. Now this is not official Nardo Gray. Uh, we actually made up a color. Uh, I showed my painter James this um, Photoshop video, uh, photoshopped picture of an Audi that was Nardo Gray that had like a real gray tone photoshopped over and a blue tone and all this sort of stuff. And I was like, that's the color I want. Anyway, so we got the Nardo Gray card, compared it to what we'd made, and what we'd made was really, really dark. Like, it was almost looking as though you, it was like, kind of aiming for black, but you missed it. So we were like, nah, we needed to scrap that. We need to lighten that heap. So we went through, lightened it like five times, and like, I mean like, lightened it. Because what we wanted to do, Nardo Gray is a mixture of white, black, yellow, and red, as far as I'm aware. So it's yellow and red makes like brown. So it's got a real like browny, reddy, yellowy undertone. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of that. I mean, like I like it on other cars, but for my car, I didn't want that. I wanted like a bluey, greeny undertone, like a turquoisey undertone, kind of bluey kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know if it comes through on camera, but this Nardo Gray, well, I don't know. We need to give it another name. Jump in the comments, come up with something cool, but it's like a bluey Nardo Gray. It's, it's like custom color no one's made it because like obviously we made it on the spot uh with just what we wanted to do uh, i'm not trying to make it sound like super cool i'm just trying to like be honest and be like it's not specifically anything you could obviously duplicate it but uh yeah so i was like yeah can we do like a bluey greeny undertone nardo gray and he was like that's exactly what i'm thinking because he's he's very on the on the same wavelength as me with some things and we're completely opposite with others which works really well when you're trying to kind of brainstorm colors and combinations and highlights and things like that like for example he loves matte black i love gloss black things like that so yeah he kind of made it up we checked it out and we went yep let's send it that's the color and on the card it looked good on the car it looks amazing now the weird thing about the color is when i put it inside lower light it looks really dark when it's overcast it looks really dark but when i put it in like direct sunlight it's really light and bright so the gray in it, um, it, yeah, it's really, is photosensitive the right word? I don't know, but it, it changes color very vastly depending on the amount of light put on the car. So like when I um, park it in the storage unit and take a photo of it, it's like, it's getting so close to black. If it wasn't for the black trims, you'd be like, I don't know, it's not that black. I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to say. Um, it's really, really dark, but like bluey. I don't know, I love it. I reckon it's sick, it's come out perfect. I had to change the wheels to black because the silver just wasn't working. Um, I feel like the Nardo dark, like, you know, just gloss gray color works really well with just black and maybe like a highlight of something crazy, like an orange brake caliper or a purple brake caliper or something like that. I'm not saying that's what I'm doing, but I think that that kind of a highlight on this very uh, toned down kind of color combo works really good like that real punch but only a tiny little bit of it you know that kind of thing so i might do that at some point but i don't know all the brakes need to be redone on this car anyway um like they're just coming to the end of their life they're not bad then they're fine but um yeah i'm not going to go and do a roadworthy with these obviously so i'm going to get a full kit things like that uh but i i'm i'm wrapped i am so stoked with how it turned out how the paint job is um 
I'm not going to lie to you and be like, the, the paint job's 100%. It's not. It's like 98%. It's not as perfect as a Supra, but that's exactly what I wanted. I didn't want a showroom car. Um, just because you know what it's like when you get show quality car, you never want to drive it. And this is a car that I just want to be able to jump in it, take it for a spin, park it like wherever and not stress so much about it. Obviously I will because I, I love it, but you know what I mean? When you've got a really nice car and you park it somewhere and you're like, you just, you park it at a cafe right at the front and you want the table right next to it just so you can keep an eye on it, that kind of thing. I didn't want that again because I have got that with the Supra, uh, which I am very appreciative of and I count my blessings that I do have a car like that, but I wanted this one to be a bit more mm, rough, rugged kind of, thing you know like if someone does scratch it yes i'll be heartbroken but it'll be like okay let's just fix it whereas if someone scratched a supra i'd probably cry for three weeks you know <laughs> but yeah guys i'm i'm stoked i'm so happy how this has turned out i was thinking spoilers then i was thinking not and all that sort of thing we can always add things on because like i said we can always remake the color do it again uh james knows like how to make it up the color codes and the amounts and all that sort of stuff so we can like recreate it if i want to put a put spoiler on or whatever but to be honest, I really like how it looks like this. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. Um, I hope that this has been like, I know the Supra paint series was really long because um, it was like my first one. And obviously there was a lot more work into it. There was months and months and months of work going into that. This was like two weeks. So obviously it's because I did majority of work on that one and I did like almost all the work on this one except for like the little bits of damage I did have help with, uh, especially the bit on the back. Um, Matt at the paint shop, he did heaps on that and um, I'm really appreciative of that because uh, he just knows how to shape panels really well. So um, yeah, and like pull them out and pull out dents and all that sort of stuff. He's really, really good at it. So he, helped, he obviously helped me with that. But yeah, because I, I learned from the first paint job, this one obviously was faster. I could do a lot of it at home, prep the paint. Also, my this paint wasn't stuffed. The paint on the Supra was, all that sort of things. Uh, they're all um, contributing factors, especially, oh, and the fiberglass on the Supra, that was literally like 80% of the job. It was ridiculous. This has no fiberglass. It's all plastic bumpers, plastic side skirts, everything, and it makes the job a million times easier. If you guys want a bumper for your car and you can get it in plastic or you can get it in fiberglass, get the plastic one. It's a lot more forgiving. It's easy to work with. It generally, the, the, the mold is better because they haven't made 7,000 molds off a mold, off a mold, off a mold. And then you've got something that's three inches the wrong size and oh, it's a pain. It's a real pain. But yes, very happy with this. Hope you guys are happy with it. There is heaps more coming. I've got a couple of big surprises coming. Um, I think I touched on one of them in a previous video or it might be an upcoming video. I'm not sure how they're lining up because I'm having to like kind of stagger things. You'll notice in some videos, you'll be like, why is that there? That's already on the car. And then, you know, it'll be weird. But yeah, if you liked it, like, subscribe, um, jump on the Patreon if you want, um, jump in the Letter Legion Facebook group if you want. I am thinking of doing a meetup soon when the weather gets a bit better in Melbourne. So if you guys want to like catch up, me, have a chat, that sort of stuff, like shit, we can all show each other our cars, some just some fun stuff like that, jump in the comments or jump on the Facebook page, the Letter Legion one, and um, I'll probably organize it and mainly put it in there. So if you are here and you want to be involved in that, jump in that page. It's just like a bunch of us sharing our cars with each other, having a bit of fun. Um, so, and it, it like, it's pretty quiet at the moment. Um, there's not like a million of us. I think there's like 60 members or something, which is awesome. Like that's sick. But yeah, um, the more the merrier. And then if we get a whole bunch of people that are keen, I mean, if we get 10 people that are keen, I'll do a meet, you know, like 10 cool cars, that's worth a meet to me. So yeah. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Nice, short, sweet reveal for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you guys.